The economic crisis turns all our attention to one question, how to invest in tomorrow's growth. The answer lies in those sectors that can support economic sectors across the board. Sectors like photonics. Horizon 2020 is the EU's next framework program for research and innovation. And as many of you will know, the European Parliament and national governments have just agreed on its budget and scope. This is excellent news for all of us. The overall budget is a significant deal in difficult economic times and a significant opportunity for tomorrow's jobs and growth. In particular for European photonics, a sector growing fast and of vital economic importance. At the heart of our investment in photonics will be the public-private partnership. In just a few days, on the 17th of December, I will sign that partnership alongside the Photonics 21 Association, which represents more than 1,000 industry, research and academic players. This Photonics partnership is a crown jewel of Horizon 2020, and I know it results from a lot of hard work from the whole sector. Thank you all. You have achieved something very impressive. And thanks to that engagement, Europe today leads in many different areas of photonics. Putting more flash onto the bone of our Horizon 2020 plans, we have also set out our first work program, covering 2014 and 2015. Photonics is very visible there, and we have made a big step forward from the previous program FP7, not just through an increased budget, but also by being more comprehensive, more focused on innovation and with a wider scope. And that is thanks to our close cooperation with you. The calls in this work program will focus on a few key areas. It will aim to secure leadership in areas where Europe is strong or where there is a potential for creating new markets. It will particularly emphasize faster innovation processes and quicker time to market. And it will look at the entire innovation and value chain, from advanced materials to manufacturing, from advanced research to technology take-up, from pilot production lines to demonstrations. In the coming years, I hope this partnership can bring us a European photonics industry that is stronger, more competitive and more innovative. With closer cooperation between all actors, including researchers, academic institutions and end-users, driving innovation in sectors from lighting to healthcare. We have a very solid foundation in place, not just for a few years' research, but for a comprehensive industrial strategy for European photonics. That can include four key elements. First, the photonic sector can work more closely together with others involved in Horizon 2020, in particular on societal challenges to create new ideas and opportunities. Second, we can make a difference to the thousands of smaller businesses active in photonics, translating technology leadership into a competitive business advantage. And third, we can find and use the synergies between all kinds of financing, not just European, but also local, regional, national, not just Horizon 2020, but also EU structural and investment funds, not just public funding, but also private and venture capital. Together, these can complement and support our Horizon 2020 investment. And fourth, we can attract talented workers and build up the skilled workforce needed for a bright photonics future. So let me just fi finish by congratulating all of you for the achievements of the last few years. This work is a great opportunity we can build on. Armed with a comprehensive industrial strategy for photonics, we can ensure vigorous European leadership that creates a better future for all.